and we'll start with the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Uh, nobody is here for public forum, but I still have to read the rules for it. Uh, public forums are limited to five minutes per topic, discussions or comments about town employees, agency members, or volunteers should be avoided so as not to violate individuals' rights. There's no one present. Okay, so we'll start with the minutes from our September 18th meeting. I move to accept the minutes as written. Second. 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 Okay, we'll go on to the deck director's report. Do you want to discuss? Yes, the, um, if the you report. put your calendar, uh, the monthly calendar, that last week of November, the 26, 27, 28, there should be a 29 and a 30 after that. Mm -hmm. So Thursday and Friday. Oh. <laughs> so that makes the dates on the director's report for uh, Thursday, which should not be 12, one should be 11, 29. And Friday, which says 12-2, should actually be 11-30. <clears throat> I didn't finish out those two dates on the calendar. So essentially, that week, there are no classes. So that Monday, there is no Tai Chi, no mat yoga, and no darts. Uh, there is darts in that room, but we're not having darts that day. On Tuesday, um, we have no yoga. And on Wednesday, we have no muscular strength and uh, no ukulele. On Thursday, we have no Tai Chi and no Zumba. And on Friday, there is no power walk, no yoga, and no bingo. And the reason for all of those cancellations is because we're getting ready for Chain of Lights. Uh, and if any of you have helped out with that before, you know it's a tremendous amount of work. So uh, our friends do a great job in uh, getting everything ready, so it's uh, the least we could do to um, help support them in getting stuff ready. So that's why we have no classes. It just makes it easier moving stuff around. Uh, as you can see, I'm still on the search for a man to run a uh, men's stretching and yoga class. Uh, I've put it out on social media through Facebook. Uh, you probably should see it in um, the um, Sutton Chronicle. And um, the local instructors here charge a lot, a lot of money to do something like that. So nobody's really willing to do it for a donation or something like that. So I'm um, still on the lookout. I'll keep plugging away at that if I can. Um, I wrote a grant uh, to assist the operation of our vehicle. 
and I was awarded $1,000 um, <clears throat> to help seniors in need to get to emergency appointments and pharmacy pickups. Um, Excuse me. Sure. Um, doesn't the, sound, uh, the town take care of that vehicle? The, we only have a certain amount of budgeting for that. Oh, so, I, I you know, I have that set aside because, um, God forbid, something go wrong with the car. Mm -hmm. You know, so we really don't have a tremendous amount of budgeting for that. So I was able to get, a, you know, a grant to help out towards, uh, towards that. And really, essentially, that grant was for transportation that I wrote for. So... I couldn't have gotten it, gotten it towards anything else other than transportation. Is there a fee for the people who utilize? No, them? no. And that's the yes, the good yeah, because it's it. a it's a last minute thing, and many of the folks that are calling us last minute mm -hmm. have no family involvement. So, um, I have a question. Mm -hmm. I'm. I don't know if Walmart offers that. A lot of uh, the people that have had to pick up uh, an emergency prescription, which hasn't been a lot, um, has been down to Walmart pharmacy. So I'm not certain if if they have that. Well, a number of pharmacies now are saying that they will deliver. deliver. I yeah. think CVS, but of course Walmart is right. is, is different. The, yeah, the place that the ones that they typically seem to go to right now is Walmart. Um, I don't know. I'll look into that. I, nobody's really called for a Market Thirty Two mm -hmm. Pharmacy or CVS, so mm -hmm. certainly that's worth a, a, a look into. Thanks. Maybe they will, or maybe sometimes they it might, might offer that. Might right, know. Walmart. Yeah, right. yeah. Right. Right. Okay. Thanks, I didn't know that. And you still the, still don't have the printer? No, not yet. <laughs> I keep saying Friday, Friday, Friday. So I did get a, an email yesterday saying that. Um, Friday. Yeah, right. No, 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 they didn't even answer that this time. They just said <laughs> that it's on back order. So why they would keep telling me Friday, 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 and then all of a sudden it's on back order. Did they know. tell you how... What back order? Because no. sometimes they give you a time. No. Yeah, yeah. You had no time frame for that. Would it be possible to get one temporarily? Yeah. Uh, in its place, you know? You would think. Yeah. I would think they are uh, offer it. Right. Yeah, they should be offering. Right. I mean, any copies I've been making have been up here at Town Hall, and they've been more than hospitable. Yeah. And anything that I've... I'm in a pinch to print. I'm able to print through my printer in my office. But when it comes to printing out reports, yeah. that goes directly into the copying machine. It gets directly hooked up. It's not hooked up into any other mm -hmm. printer in the building. Where is this printer audited from? Is it from W.B. Mason? Or oh, no, 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 no. It's, no, it's, it's through it's a company, uh, company called does. Aztec, and they, oh. they do the town for um, printing, copying. Oh, okay. So. <laughs> couldn't get another company. Uh, another yeah. company. Mm. Well, if it's I a town yeah. thing, yeah, yeah. they must have like a contract yeah. or something. Contract. They get but, there. Yeah. As soon as I get a, uh, I mean, it's a good price I for a printer. I just need to I get. I worked <laughs> when the printer was down. They brought another printer. Because <laughs> yeah. when you're under contracts, right, they got to supply you. So something's yeah, something's wrong someplace. Right. I don't mean with you particularly, <laughs> no. <laughs> How many months has this been going on? Oh, God, a month and a half. I mean, it's a long time. Yeah. It's a long time. Yeah, they've, they've tried to r repair it many, many times. It's practically they, made over. It is. It's redone. The whole thing is redone. <laughs> comparable product? They, they, they should just put in there? Uh, I don't right. know. I don't know the answer. I'm, I'm not that sure. That would be a question. Yeah. We don't need that. Obviously, that particular model, with our experience, is not performing Reliable. where it should be. <laughs> right. Right? So see if they've got something else that will uh, do the job until they can figure until out they can how get to get another one in there. Right. All right. So mm. they give us a loaner. Yeah, a loaner. That would be pretty mm. good. Okay. Yeah, it's been a long time. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, I think you've given them enough time. Yeah, yeah I think so. It seems like it's been longer than a month and a half. <laughs> Um, all right. Does anybody have any more questions on the director's report? You want to look at the November calendar. 
How'd the fraud squad go? You know what? It, it was absolutely fantastic. Well, they are fantastic. They are fantastic. Yes. But people coming out to it, there was, uh, and I literally had to go around and ask for bodies for mm. people to sit and watch it. Well. And that breaks my heart. Well, the thing. Because, well, I mean, I, we can only wrong, do as but much. I think if it had been at 10, 15. Right. Well, I'm kind of at their mercy. Well, they're, they're pretty, um, from my experience, pretty flexible. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You know, um, 10, 15, a lot of those uh, exercise people would have stayed. Do they want to stay till 11? No. Mm. But if they wanted to stay, they would have stayed. If, if they had planned to stay, they would find a reason to stay. If they were. I wouldn't mm. like to have stayed the whole thing, but I had. I know what you a had. Condition I had to do first. Mm. As best I could. Mm -hmm. But um, if you wanted to be interested in something like that, you would make. You know, it's sort of true. Well, because it's only an hour. I mean, if people from exercise wanted to stay, which is true, and not, this isn't derogatory towards the exercise people, but it was an hour. They could have gone for a coffee or something mm -hmm. or just sat around and, and talked for an hour. It wasn't that long. Because it really was. It was interesting, informative, very, very and good. timely because there's a lot of fraud, yeah. a lot of scams out there, which is um, sad. But they were. They were very good. They yeah. were. Oh, just a wonderful group of people. Oh, they are. Wow. And how they present it makes it easier for people to understand yes. on how to mm -hmm. talk to somebody on the other end of the line. Well, a lot of research went into how yeah. they do that. Yeah, they're wonderful. Uh, they also gave us some great uh, information that I can uh, put, use to copy and paste into the newsletter. So, uh, And they also gave us some nice flyers to put up through the building. So, um, If you look on Friday, November 9th, we have a jukebox Friday night, so Dave O'Gara will come <coughs> down and we can dance the night away. If it doesn't snow. If it doesn't snow, <laughs> and that's going to be from six to eight. I'm going to put that on there, but it's from six to eight. I just got confirmation. Just create that. snow. Right? Uh, yeah. Oh God, we really don't need that. Mm. Um. On the 14th, Wednesday the 14th, the Massachusetts Association for the Blind and Visually Impaired will be down to talk about um, various kinds of blindness, uh, things that can happen as you get older, and then resources that are available to you at little to no cost uh, and how you can um, receive those benefits. So it should be a great, uh, great, another really good presentation. So if you can come on down, if you know anybody that is suffering from any type of blindness or visually imp uh, visual impairment, please feel free to come on down. And that's Wednesday the 14th at 11 o'clock. Uh, uh, on the 12th, November 12th, I believe we are closed, I'm not 100% certain on that day, in order to recognize Veterans Day. But put a big question mark there because I haven't heard anything yet as to what, if that's the day we're gonna, they're gonna choose. So I'll let you know. Tentatively it's that. 22nd is Thanksgiving, so we'll close that day. And on Friday, the 23rd, we are closed, essentially, but not really. Uh, the Worcester Community Action Council will be there to sign up uh, new people for fuel assistance throughout the town. Um, so I really don't think it's a good idea to have everybody seeing everybody who needs fuel assistance because that is going to be a much bigger group than the people who just re-enroll. Well, that's a big group too. Yeah, that's a very big group. These these people are all new to it, so it's going to be a lot of paperwork and quite a few people, from what I can see, as far as online sign up. Um, are they going to be in the Shaw room? Yeah. Okay. And I would, and probably the front. Uh, in which case, I'll need a loaner copying machine, <laughs> or a copying machine, uh, to do that right, uh, to do those. So they're going to be all throughout the building, and. I'm, 
pretty sure in the computer room they will meet. They'll have to go uh, like station to station when they sign up uh, <coughs> for that. So if anybody's interested in signing up for fuel assistance for the first time, you would contact the Worcester Community Action Council and they will register you there because they will need to give you the list of information that you're going to need uh, to bring with you on that date. So they will be there from 8 to 3 on that day. Mm. So essentially we're open, but not really. Is there a book club? There is book club. There is book club on the 21st. Thank you. And that big blank spot right there is book club. And that's at 11 o'clock on Wednesday the 21st. All are welcome to book club. Yes, we're getting more and more. Really nice. We've got a couple more. Good. Good. Good to see that. Okay. Is there any are there any more questions on the calendar? No. Okay. Mm. Do you want to go over the outreach? Yeah. So for outreach numbers, um, Clark has seen 12 men, seven women. There have been 42 phone calls that he's fielded. One fuel assistance uh, sign up. No food stamps, which is kind of nice to see. Uh, three home visits, two veteran supports, and 29 COA rides. Anything else? Want to go on <laughs> to the <laughs> treasurer's <laughs> report? Treasurer Bar Barbara, are we good? <laughs> We're good. We're doing okay. We're okay. Yeah. We're okay. No complaints, no problems yet. <laughs> no problems yet. <laughs> Amen. Amen. As soon as I uh, get a printer that hooks up to <laughs> Eunice, <laughs> I will print you out the budget. But again, if there's any questions you'd like to see anything, Feel free to come on in and, uh, you know, you can open up the books and you can see where we're at, but with Barbara the, does a great job. With the heating, is everything yeah, pretty good yeah, with that? Yeah, everything seems to be okay. So far, so good. Okay. No. No good, no good. Nothing else? We'll go on to the Friends Report, Gail. Right now, the friends group is getting ready to return a bike, and the elves are busily preparing gifts and goods and getting ready to bake and having food available. And I hope everyone comes to enjoy enjoy the King of Life Down Shopping Center because we have friendly friends. Yes, <laughs> you are friendly friends. I just want to add that again. It's going to start at 10 o'clock instead of 9. It's already out there uh, in some of our ads. We're going to be putting up a poster on the door to say that it's 10. Uh, previously, we would open at 9, but that was a mistake, mine. <laughs> and now it's rectified. It was After a mistake for a time. lot of years, <laughs> I know. So it's going to be 10 o'clock. And again, it's true. Uh, we hope you'll all come down. It's, uh, we've got some really great things, and you'd be surprised. And our prices are wonderful. Yeah. <laughs> prices are nice. <laughs> They're good. Okay. Uh, I got some. Anything else? The bike ride that's scheduled for this Thursday has been postponed to Friday because Thursday's going to be cool. in the cold. Yeah, yeah body. too cold. Yeah. Friday's going to be in the high 50s. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> well, it'll be a lot better on Friday than Thursday. That change is on the bulletin board, on the board oh. down at the center. Um, Fran sent me the changes, so it's up there if anybody's interested. And where are you biking to? Uh, Holliston? Yeah. yeah. Not from here. <laughs> <laughs> but from Milford, near the um, senior center. Okay. Yeah, it's a nice ride. Hmm. Good. And may your day be sunny. Also. Right. Yeah. 
-hmm. and the wind at your back. Uh, yeah. <laughs> the entire yeah. ride. <laughs> Is there anything else? Is there anything anybody wants to ask about or anything need to be discussed? This is it. That's it. <laughs> this is it. We'll adjourn the meeting.